This time of year, the foxes have their winter coats that have grown in, so they're incredibly fluffy. It appears that the foxes are very curious in getting up close with us right from the gecko, so that's good. In the past, I've had a lot of trouble getting the foxes to actually get close to me, probably because I'm a coyote. Do you know where Scarlet is? Right? Do you know where Scarlet is? So Scarlet's in here somewhere, and I thought we'd be hanging out with two foxes, but it appears that uh, Rhett is the one who has the most interest in playing and hanging out. Don't you take my hat. I see what you're doing. Hi. You want to try to get Scarlet out of there, Rhett? Here we go. All right, now you're out. Well, the good news is Scarlet has joined the party, and I've got a pocket full of cheese. Absolutely not. Foxes require an incredible amount of attention. They are also going to musk all over everything. And when it comes to a fox actually being in your house, this is not something that you would ever want to consider as a pet. Now, the reason that these foxes are here at the Wolf Center is because these are a rescued foxes, right? These foxes cannot be released back into the wild. But as you can see, they're getting plenty of enrichment, plenty of exercise. And they're living a very happy and very healthy life here in Colorado. You want to show me how your slide works? If we can get Rhett to go up to the top of the slide, he'll actually come down and plop out right here into the snow. Unfortunately, I think right now, Red is much more interested in checking out these cameras than he is actually going into the slide. Here, you wanna play with my glove? That's cool, right? Oh, you. Yeah. Oh. All right, there he goes, he's got my glove. Let's see what happens. Now I only have one glove, and the odds of me being able to get that glove back are not real good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, you see what's happening? Uh, uh, Red, my, oh boy. Right, here we go, going straight into fox mode. All right. <laughs> I see you. Do you still have my glove? I knew it was gonna be a game of cat and mouse. Every time that I come with foxes, it's never easy. Okay, here we go. Getting closer. Look at that. Now, can you wait here for a second? I'm gonna go down there and give you the cheese when you get down. Ready? Down this, up. I guess we're gonna go over the slide. There you go. <laughs> I mean, when you don't wanna go through the slide, I guess you go over the slide. Up here. Okay, what a good boy. Okay, there it is. Oh, it's cheese. Hold on a second, let's come this way. I want you to go down the slide, ready? Go down the slide. Yes! That was a fox going down the slide. It's right there, get it. Oh, what a good boy. You did it, you did it. What a good fox. Now when a fox lays down in the cold snow like this, its coat will completely keep it insulated. And then it can wrap its tail around its body to add even extra warmth. You coming down again? Come on, go for it. Come on. I got cheese. <laughs> That is the greatest thing I think any of us have seen all day long. A fox going down a slide. Here you go, sweetie. 